She got her own house. She got her own house. She got, she got, she got, she got, she got her own house. Hey family, welcome back to my channel. So if you ever plan on selling your NACA home, then you definitely want to hear this update. So let's talk about it. So for those of us that have been around the NACA program for a while, and for a while I mean maybe since earlier this year or before, then you'll know that there have been lots floating around of, oh, you have to live in your house for five years, you have to live in your house for three years, you have to, unless you have uh, extenuating circumstances, get approval. Um, you know, it's just uh, little things that have been floating around out there as far as when you can sell your NACA home and what needs to be done well unbeknownst to me earlier this year NACA has actually changed their policies about what has to occur in order to sell your NACA home we all know by now that NACA's mission is to stabilize low to moderate income communities and help low to moderate income families achieve home ownership okay that's not a secret but as part of that you have to live in your NACA home as your primary residence. Like that's pretty much how NACA achieves their mission. And so when you get to the final part of the process, which is bank application, you'll be forced to sign 20 to 30 documents. I'm not even exaggerating that number, literally like 30 different documents that you're going to have to physically wet sign and scan back over to your mortgage counselor. And one of those documents is the neighborhood stabilization agreement. Now, I found in my old, I dug mine up, my old neighborhood stabilization agreement that I signed last October of 2021, and I found what I believe to be the language that has been kind of thrown around about three years and five years, or, or maybe call and see if NACA will give you um, an exception and let you move out early or whatever, um, but we'll get to that in a minute. I'll show you guys what I found, what I believe to be the old language. But unbeknownst to me, NACA has now changed their policies on what has to happen or what is going to happen whenever you sell your NACA home before it is paid in full. Now, uh, we all know, I've said on this channel many times, NACA puts a loan on your home at closing in the second position, okay, for $25,000. I'm going to have one. If you um, go to bank app to today, you're going to have one. I don't know how long they've been doing this, but I know it's a pretty standard practice of the NACA, pro of the NACA program to have uh, everyone have a loan put on their, or lien put on their loan by NACA in the second position. Now, let me go ahead and flash on the screen now for you my old copy of my stabilization agreement so that we can read and I can um, share with you guys what I think was the old language and then I'll let you guys know what the new policy is. The bottom line of section two, we're not going to read all of section two, but we are going to skip down to uh, the last line and you can see there that is the first mention in this agreement, in my agreement that is, of the $25,000 fee or lien. Now let's start in section three. The client hereby specifically agrees that he or she, A, shall establish, occupy, and use the property as the client's primary residence within 30 days after the latter of the date of this agreement. The date of consummation of the loan or the date on which the renovation of the property through the program has been completed as determined by NACA and B, shall continue to occupy and use the property on a permanent and continuing basis as the client's primary residence through and including that date on which the loan is repaid in full, the repayment date. All right, on to section four, which is the language that I think uh, people have been quoting. And it says, if at any time prior to the repayment date, the client ceases to occupy and use the property on a continuing and permanent basis as the client's primary residence and fails to obtain prior written exception due to extraordinary circumstances as determined in NACA's sole discretion, then an event of default on the part of the client shall be deemed to have occurred under this agreement. So I could be very wrong about this, everyone, okay? But 
Based on my interpretation, I believe that this is the language in section four under the old agreement that allows us that have signed the old agreement to just call the MAP department, the MAP department at NACA, and ask to have the lien removed from the second position. And then you can sell your home, refine it, you know, whatever you want to do, scotch-free. Now, let me show you guys what I found on Facebook, which is the new policy, okay? And this has been uh, confirmed by NACA employees in the Facebook group. So that is why I'm bringing you guys this information. You guys know I like to get this information verified before I just post videos out into the world, okay? So now let me go ahead and flash it on your screen what happened on Facebook. All right, now let's go ahead and get into these new changes. So I'm going to flash it on the screen now. Obviously, I've scratched out names and faces for privacy reasons, but now let's look at this new policy. It says, and this is a NAC employee, by the way, agreements have changed, but you can sell at any time. If you sign under the new agreement and sell prior to five years and make a profit, you are required to pay back up to $25,000, but that amount decreases with each year that you stay in the home. Under the old agreement, you just have to be sure the lien is lifted prior to selling, so you would have to reach out to the MAP department to ensure that takes place. Okay, so let's break this down. Say that I'm buying my house right now, which you guys know that I am, but say next year I want to move because, you know, I'm getting married, which you guys know that I am. So say that my new husband and I want to move somewhere else and start a new life, so I want to sell my NACA home. That means that if I sell my house next year and I make a profit, I owe NACA $25,000. Say that my house appraises for um, you know, $25,000 more than what I'm getting the mortgage for here and uh, hopefully in the near future. All of that money would go to NACA and I would not get a dime, y'all, under this new agreement. I'm not under the new agreement. I'm under the old agreement. But just for the sake of example, that is what is going to happen. If you make a profit and you are in the house for five years or less, then you will have to give NACA a percentage of your uh, profits that you make at closing. So under this same post, there was someone else that left a comment that worked indirectly with the NACA program and provided a little bit more insight. And so since she does work, um, you know, around indirectly with the NACA program, I feel comfortable sharing it with you guys. And no other NACA employee that was in the comment section refuted anything that she said. Um, so I am going to share it with you guys now. Let me go ahead and flash it on the screen. She says, hi everyone, I work for NACA's closing attorney in Atlanta and this new lien payoff began at the earlier part of this year. It says that you can't sell within five years without paying a prorated amount based on which year you would be selling. $25,000 year one, $20,000 year two, and so on. There are isolated incidents where you can get the lien removed by contacting NACA. For example, if you were transferred for your job or leaving town for the military, those are just two examples that I can think of. Based on this new knowledge, that means that you would actually have to stay, um, I guess maybe five years and one day <laughs> in your home uh, in order to not have to owe NACA any money because, you know, obviously if it's, you know, 25,000, 20, 15, 10, 5, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to go all the way down for the, the next five years. So you would need to stay at least five years and one day is how I'm interpreting it in order to not have to pay NACA any portions of your profits if you um, receive profits from selling your NACA home. And another NACA employee also chimed in on the bottom of that post or that comment, that particular response um, that I just shared and stressed if you make a profit okay so again if you sell breaking even or if you sell at a loss you don't know act knack of anything even if you move in your knack of home today and you have to sell next week or next month you know whatever if you sell at a loss or you don't make any money on the sale of your home then you owe knack of nothing now what's going to happen if say you only net $15,000 profit you know how much are you going to have to pay knack of then are you going to um, still be on the hook for an additional $10,000 or are they going to take a percentage? You know what I'm saying? So that would definitely be worth calling 
the map apart department and figuring out before you sell your home if you know that you have been in your home for less than five years or there is a chance that you're going to not be in your home for at least five years in one day um, before you sell it because the last thing that you want to happen is you list your home thinking you're about to make all of this money you know fifty thousand dollars in profit and you're going to put that towards the down payment on your new home and you call NACA to get the lien release and you owe them twenty five thousand of that fifty thousand thousand dollar profit or whatever you know however much it's going to be depending on when you're selling your home but I wanted you guys to be informed this was new news to me definitely go back and take a look at your neighborhood stabilization agreement if someone has a neighborhood stabilization agreement that they've signed in the past few months jump down in the comments and let us know what the language says on there if you already have one I shared mine with you guys you see that mine has not this new language in it but I'm curious how the new agreement is structured and what the language actually reads um so but that is it guys if I forgot anything I apologize but you guys know the drill let's jump down in the comments and let's talk about it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video because it takes a village cheers